Hello, welcome back. Um, so we're gonna work on another class. This is the collision class. We're gonna do it in. Uh, we're gonna do the AABB collision class. We can do the the separating axis theorem collision, and which is pretty cool. But this is gonna be simple, and I have to do this in two weeks. Uh, we can actually do that in two weeks. But whatever. I already had my mindset on it, and I already kind of made it. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> I noticed that in the other video. I really don't do the, um, thanks for watching, hit subscribe if you like, whatever. I don't do that. And maybe I should. Um, but I don't know, because I don't, I don't want to. So we're just call the class ABB. And we're just going to just create it. So yeah, everything is going to have an ABB class attached to them if they're collidable. If they're not collidable, then they're not going to have an ABB class or collision class. Just call it collision class. So when I say uh, collision class, I mean the AABB class because AABB is really hard to say continuously. Um, so yeah, so everything, of course, so it's basically like a collision box, right? So it's going to need its own position. It's going to need um, a width and height, of course. Oh, that's going to be float actually, and it's going to need its own um, height, right? And um, we're also going to have like an area where, if the player goes into this area, then the enemy will start chasing it. So that's going to be like a circle area, I guess, a circular area. And it's going to have a radius because of that. Um, also, it's going to need a size. Huh. That's weird. Why do I have that? I guess to make that easier. Alright, so we're going to work on that later, actually. Mm. Just checking here. Okay, whatever. Might not need it. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and do the, um, the constructor here. So of course vector f pos int w n h and this dot pos is equal to pos this dot w is equal to w and we're gonna have a size. So if they're if they're different um if you have different uh what's it called width and height we can just find the max and make that the size. This is mostly for the sprite class, because the sprite class also does that, in a way. Um, we're going to have another one, another constructor. This is mostly for the, uh, for, um, for the circular collisions. So yeah, we also have this weird constructor where it's like, yeah, it shouldn't like it shouldn't exist, but it does, which is weird. <laughs> okay. Anyways, um, that's so weird. Why did we do that? All right, size equal to radius, of course. Like radius squared, right? Because that's the diameter. No, no, no never mind. Um. We do have an R though, so we're just gonna do that. I'm trying to figure out what I meant by doing this. Hmm. Oh well. Um, I'm sure, it's not that important. I see that now. Um, so we're gonna have a getter that gets the position of the box and of course I have some other getters. Uh, this one's called get radius. So we're gonna get radius. So we just return R. And we're gonna have a getter called get width. And this so will of course return the width. Oops, that's not what I meant. And yep, some getters. Kind of boring. 
Um, actually, that's a good idea. Yeah. Alright, so we're also going to have some offsets. We can probably make them a vector. But, maybe not. Because maybe I have a good reason why not to. You don't know. Past me was like, okay, this is the plan, alright? Don't make them vectors. And present me is just like, sure, why not? Because I don't want to deal with that anyways. So, let's go ahead and make a set box. So, just in case, like, maybe, like, the um, the boss gets, like, a, uh, a, a bigger, like, attack range or whatever, we can do that with this method. And uh, we can change the position if we want to. So, like, it's offset or something. And we can set the width to make it bigger, and also the height to make it bigger. Just to make it harder, I guess, for the um, for the player to to fight it, because we we always want to challenge. And also, we can set uh, the circle to be bigger as well, so that if the player is in a certain area and maybe um, doesn't want to be in that area, I guess, and it kind of skirts around, we can be like, no, you're going here. We can totally do that. I mean, most games really don't do that. Like, they're like, if you don't want to be there, don't be there. But, no, nah, not this game. We're the hardcoreist. Um, so, we also have this uh, method called set with. And I have this weird thing going on with the, another class, but we're not going to do that. That's no. No past me, no. You screw up too many times. Um, yeah, maybe we should have. But then again, no. Okay, uh, this is a good one. So... Here's the X offsets. So set X offset. And it's gonna be a float because it's a float. And set the X offset. Whoa. Uh, void set Y offset. And the Y offset. I noticed that like I actually lean further and further away from my mic. Hopefully that didn't like ruin the sounding. I care a lot about sound. Um, maybe a little too much. You gotta be chill about it. And so this is this is colliding two entities. So um, yeah. So this method is going to be a, a colliding method that. Basically, almost every entity is going to have to check if it's colliding with a player or maybe itself. Uh, so, the first thing we need to know about ABB is that we need to get the points of the middle of the box. So, we're going to do that. Um, and we're probably going to do this because we're going to have this in here. And we're going to get the world wire position, not not on screen, because not like that. And since we have an X offset, we can might as well use it. And then we're going to add that to W divided by two to get the middle of that. Uh, phone chat. Um, I'm not going to answer that. Hopefully you can't hear that. See? I should have turned it off. But I don't want to. Because maybe that was important. And maybe... I don't know. Um, HW2. So to get the middle of that. And then we can, we can find the, uh, the middle of the BX. Um, so the AX 
is the middle of the position here. Um, so AX is referring to this class, and BX is re referring to this class. It's different, but the same. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's hilarious. Uh, I made myself laugh. Alright, that's cool. Get world bar. Dot X. Oh my gosh. I don't know why I find that so ridiculously funny. So then we have to account for if they have an uh, offset. They might not have an offset, but they also might. might. Um, BY, I could do the same thing. Do you know what? I didn't know why. But I could have just done this, right? Right? Everything just changes but in one letter. God. Okay, I'm sorry. I think it'd be like just copy and paste. But yeah, that happens. And we subtract them together and find the absolute value because we don't want negatives. And we have to find if it's if it's in e each other. That sounds weird, is it? If it's in each other, if it's intersecting basically. That's what I meant to say. But. Talking and coding is actually pretty hard. I'm surprised that I can actually do this and talk at the same time. Yeah. And you're gonna plus it by b box dot h and by that too. So um, if all that is true, then we want to return true because it's true because they are intersecting. And return false because they're not. Um, so yeah, that's how you f find if two entities are colliding on each other. <laughs> so what could we do? Oh yeah, we can do the circle one. What time is it? Only twelve minutes. We can do it. And we're gonna have another collision um, collision method for the. Uh, for the, um, what's it called? For the thingamajig. You know the thingamajig? Uh, I forget what it's called. Oh well. For tiles. Oh my gosh. That was a long one. It's a brain fart. That's what that was. So yeah, this is going to be checking So we're gonna return false because I don't want that error to be there. Ah, there we go. And CX is referring to this class. So this boss. Get more bar. Dot X. Um, and we have to find the middle again. And what's really weird, like you would imagine that. Just dividing by two would be enough, but no, you have to find the square root of two, which is just kind of stupid. And this is where it gets weird. Hmm. Do you know what? I understand why I passed me did that. That's understandable. All right. However, we're not we're not going to do that. We're going to do it a little differently. Because we don't have that class, but I mean that class kind of extends this class anyways. So yeah. So let's go ahead and do that. Private entity E, because we named it that. Um, so this is why, okay. Pass me, you're all right. Just saying, you're all right. Okay, so then we get the size, and we haven't, we didn't make that, did we? Where's entity? Where are you at? Do we have a get size? We don't have it. Um, let's make that. Where should we put it? Oh, we'll put it right here. Um, is it a float? A size float? No, it didn't.
and return size. There we go, so that should be okay now. Yeah. And let's divide the math dot the square root of, of whatever. And don't worry guys, I know what to do now. Oh snap, I did it wrong. Here we go. Copy, right, and paste. Oh snap, did it wrong again. How does that happen? Freaking hell, really? Copy, paste, there we go. Um, I think that's okay. So yeah. And we're gonna go float Excel tough. Um, is equal to cx minus math dot max. And we're trying to find the maximum of these two integers. A box dot get position dot get world bar dot x plus um, a box dot get width. Whoa, that's that's height. Get width. Um, divided by that two, and we can pair that with the minimum of cx and a box dot position dot get world bar dot x, and that should do it. So yeah, a whole bunch of crap, and we're gonna copy it because I don't want to do all that whole bunch of crap. And make sure everything's changed to Y. Uh, past me left no notes <laughs> explaining how to explain it. Um, but basically, find the radius. It's kind of like the, uh, what's it called? Um, I forgot what it's called. Damn it. Um, the distance formula, I guess? It's kind of like that. Um, yeah, we probably need to do that. And Like the square root of two is fine here, like you're supposed to do that. But then like here, I don't know why I did that. Like I guess it worked better, but you know. Didn't expect it to be there. Oops, there we go. And if that's true, then you just return true. Okay, so that we got that done. Um, so yeah, that's that's how you freaking find the collisions between a circle and a box. Um, so this is the circle um, x var and y var, or the world war anyways. Yeah, stuff and things. It's already like 18 minutes, so I'm gonna stop there. Alright, thanks for watching everybody. Goodbye.